What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So a few weeks ago, we took a look at the Mint budgeting app, which is really the ground floor and is a great place to get started if you are brand new to budgeting. But thanks to a viewer suggestion from this awesome viewer, today I thought we would take it to the next level and look at a much more comprehensive and advanced budgeting and overall financial management tool, which is Personal Capital. This tool is incredibly comprehensive and offers all of the basic budgeting features if that's what you need, but also gives you the ability to go much more in depth with your personal finances, with personalized investment strategies, retirement tracking, and planning tools, and the ability to talk to real human financial advisors with their higher level services. So if you want a full breakdown of everything that personal capital has to offer and how this one financial tool can pave the path to millionaire level financial freedom, then be sure to stick around at the end. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel and share this with someone who you think could get value out of this video as well. All right, let's jump right into it. So if you are familiar with personal capital, then you might know that they have a high-end financial management service with more than $13 billion in assets under management. And that service makes up only 24,000 of their over 2.6 million clients. And most of those 2 million customers are using the free version of this software. So whether you don't meet the asset requirements or you just have no desire to have personal capital managing your own personal investments themselves, I just wanna make it clear right off the bat that we are specifically focusing on the free version of the software today, and that has so many fantastic investment tools that are well worth your while. So when you first open up the financial dashboard, it looks pretty similar to other budgeting and money management tools, just a little bit more complex. But if you compare this to the other comprehensive tools like Quicken, this is pretty simple and intuitive and really easy to understand. So right from the dashboard, you can see your net worth calculator, how you're doing with your monthly budget, your overall cash flows, the balance of all of your investment portfolios combined, your retirement savings, and even your emergency fund balance. Okay, I know that was a lot, but let's talk about some of these sections specifically because I promise it is not that complicated and it is very similar to some of the other platforms that we've looked at like SoFi and Mint. So first let's talk about budgeting and if I'm being completely honest, I'll tell you right away that I am not super impressed with the budgeting features in Personal Capital. But I'll let it slide because it really isn't that bad and the service is free, plus this isn't what Personal Capital has decided to focus their energy on. So under the budgeting section, you can analyze all of your cash flows and spending patterns in certain categories, and you will receive a monthly summary of your spending, which is broken down into these various categories that they create for you, or you can create these categories for yourself. You can also set limits on each of these categories, and Personal Capital will make up some nice looking graphs and charts to show you how close you are to maxing out your budget for each of those respective categories. So all of this is great, but the place that Personal Capital really falls flat in the way of budgeting is that there is no way to actually pay your bills through their application. Now, this may not sound like a huge deal, and if you were strictly looking for a way to have have a visual representation of your budget every single month, then this really doesn't matter to you at all. But a lot of people are looking for a way to actually pay their bills under one umbrella. And currently you can't do that with personal capital. For example, through the Quicken application that I mentioned earlier in the video, you are actually able to send money to these various accounts, whether that be your utilities, your mortgage or car payment for the month, or really any kind of recurring bill. But at this moment, that is not something that you're able to do with personal capital, which is a little bit disappointing, but also I do kind of understand because I'm sure there are probably a lot of complex legal issues that go into actually being able to send money from that account. Plus, once again, considering this is a free service and other services like Quicken are paid and cost money, I can let this slide. Now, under the budgeting section, you also have the cash flow analyzer that we just talked about, and that offers you the standard features of categorizing all of your expenses and will even create a personal catered budget to you. But one of the best parts about the cash flow section is the ability to set financial goals, whether that be your retirement retirement planning, saving for a car or a house, or even paying off debt of any kind. Once you input these goals, the analyzer will create a custom budget and strategy that will allow you to reach these goals as quickly and efficiently as possible. So as far as budgeting goes, if you just want a quick on-the-go solution on your phone, then I would stick to something like Mint, but if you are more into the investment features and that's something that you think you're gonna use, which we'll talk about in a second, and you are more of a desktop user, then I would say that personal capital is definitely optimized for desktop users, although they do have a mobile app 
application on Apple and Android. So the place that personal capital really shines is in their investment management tools. And most of these are included with the free version of this software. These include features like the net worth calculator, investment checkups, retirement planners, and even a 401k analyzer. Now, a lot of these features can be found from their many competitors, but a lot of these are truly unique and will help you take your personal financial management and specifically your investments to the next level. For starters, we have the 401k analyzer, which takes a deep look at your 401k or employee sponsored retirement plan and shows you the hidden fees that you probably don't even know about, how much money this plan is actually costing you, and most importantly, how you can improve it. Millions of employees invest in employee sponsored retirement plans every single year, but nine times out of 10, employees have absolutely no idea what is being invested in, what the expense ratios are, or any of that important information. Plus, as an extension of that, you also have the retirement planner, which has a what if scenario section that allows you to input all kinds of savings and investment numbers in order to figure out how you can improve your retirement plan. Of course, we also have the net worth calculator, which is pretty standard with these kind of apps and is pretty self-explanatory, but by far my favorite feature is the investment checkup tool. Once you input all of your external investment accounts, this feature uses personal capital's advanced algorithm to analyze all of your investments across those various accounts and gives you suggestions on how you can better diversify yourself and increase your returns. Now, you do have to have at least $100,000 in assets in order to access their real human advisors, but this free to use investment checkup tool is extremely important and valuable. If you're like me and the many other passive investors out there, then you probably are investing in broad market index funds that track a major index like the S&P 500. And that is a fantastic game plan and something that I personally have advocated and promoted here on the channel many times before. And while this is a much better way to diversify yourself than picking individual stocks, you might not be as protected from volatility as you might think. The truth is the S&P 500 is made up of the largest 500 companies. However, the top five companies, which are Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, which is Google, and Facebook, make up 20% of the S&P 500's value. That's why sometimes you hear people call this index the S&P 5. That means that 20% of your portfolio is riding on the performance of these five companies. And while these are large blue chip stocks that are likely not going anywhere anytime soon, I still wouldn't put such a large percentage of my investments on just five companies. Obviously, I am not a financial professional, so please do your own research on this topic, but I think it's kind of a given truth that the more diversified you are, the more protected you are from that volatility. Now, one solution is to also invest in bond index funds, real estate investment trusts, and the many other options that are out there that can allow you to better protect yourself from that volatility. And that's a strategy that I have encouraged many times before. However, if you really want to maintain that hands-off approach to your investing, then this investment checkup tool that is offered by personal capital for completely free is a fantastic option since their computer algorithm will show you how you can better diversify yourself across multiple sectors and increase your profits while also decreasing your risk. They base this on many factors, including your tolerance for risk, your age, and when you plan to retire, which is a fantastic strategy if you ask me. So if you don't want to sit there looking for a great real estate investment trust or a bond index fund, then definitely check out this investment checkup tool because while it's not quite as good as a human advisor that they offer, it's completely free to use and it is a fantastic feature that is much better than anything else that we've looked at. Now, whether you are sitting on a few hundred thousand dollars right now or that's simply something that is a goal of yours, I do want to briefly talk about the wealth management section, which is their higher level feature and it's their paid option for personal capital. At the moment, in order to access this, you do have to have at least $100,000 in invested assets, which might sound like an astronomical crazy number, but let's say you're making $50,000 per year and investing 20% of your income. Well, that means that you'll have $100,000 invested in just 10 years. And that's assuming that you don't get a pay raise over those 10 years and that your investments have absolutely no return, which obviously both of those scenarios are very unlikely. So I promise that a $100,000 investment portfolio is not as far off as you might think. And that paid wealth management feature might be something that you want to consider down the road. Personal capital uses what they call modern portfolio theory, which without absolutely boring you to death, this basically means that you are diversified, like really diversified. And that's really great because it's extremely important in avoiding volatility and improving your returns over long periods of time. They spread your assets across six major categories, which are US stocks, US bonds, international stocks, international bonds, alternative investments, which could be real estate investment trusts, or even a commodity like gold, as well as the best category, which is cash. And yes, cash is a form of investment. Creating a portfolio like that on your own would take a lot of time and expertise. And maybe if you're like me, that's interesting to you. But again, if you really want to maintain that complete hands-off approach to all of your investments, 
investing, then this is a fantastic option and personal capital is consistently outperforming the comparative benchmarks by over 1% every single year. So even with their management fees, which typically fluctuate depending on how much money you have invested with them, you will still come out ahead at the end of the year and you won't even have to think about your investments. So perhaps that is something that you want to strive for in the future, but at the very least, I would definitely recommend checking out their free service. And I'm not paid by personal capital and I'm not sponsored by them in any way, as nice as that would be. But this is a really great service and something that I have found gives you a lot of motivation and a clear snapshot of where you're at with your own investments and personal finances. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel since that's the easiest way for you to support me. And as always, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.